Content is crucial to all of us in this room, uh, whether our location is in the US or international, whether our interest is local or global. Let me show you what ESRI has done to support your work. Well, first, many of you in this room are local organizations, and you have the very best content you need for your jurisdiction. What is true for you is true for the city of Nancy, a charming town in eastern France. They have very high resolution imagery, parcels, building footprints, utility network, vegetation, flood zones, over 200 layers in their geo database. But they have nothing outside of the city. So how can ESRI support them in getting something? Well, by providing them and you with additional maps. ESRI, as Jack mentioned, is investing consciously in making more content available to you at no cost. And like all desktop users, you are just a few clicks away from getting access to it. Here are some of these maps. Imagery for the US and the world, street maps, topo maps, thematic maps, and many more. Let's add world street map. I just have to click on the link, click on open, and I'm done. Now, Nancy is no longer looking like an island. Easy, fast, free. But there is another set of amazing maps that are available the same way. The Microsoft Virtual Earth, now known as Bing Maps. They have coverage for street maps for the entire world and with high resolution imagery too. And it is now available for desktop users through RGS Online for free at 931. Let's look at the Bing roads. And now look at the Bing imagery. And even getting a bit closer to see the great resolution you get access to. Let's shift gears now. Your area of interest is not local, but is global. You have people, assets, facilities all around the world. Here, you can see the updated version of world imagery. We have added over 700 urban areas for the entire world at one meter resolution. And because we are the day before Bastille Day, I can't resist to showing you Paris. For those of you who are looking for an accurate and consistent atlas of the world providing road transportation, but also vegetation, elevation, we have a new unique map too, the Delorme World Atlas. It is today available down to one to one million for the entire world and will be available soon uh, down to one to 200,000. Delorme is currently expanding the zoom levels. All those great maps are available to you today for desktop, but are also available for server. This map is also a new map that ESRI has just released the world topographic map. This map has been made possible thanks to a community effort. ESRI has been compiling best available data and turned it into a unified cartography. What you see here is the one to one million map available for the entire world. And for the US, we also have additional zoom levels down to one to 20,000. And this has been made possible thanks to the content of key contributors, such as USGS, EPI, the National Park Service, and others. The last maps I want to talk about this morning are the demographic maps. This map has been built using one out of the hundred of demographic variables available from ESRI. I can easily mash up this map with any other maps, like the terrain or the reference layer, and turn this map into being my own map. But this map is not only a static map. Because I have access to all the data set that sits behind it, the map comes to life. I've shown you a lot, but there is three key points I would like you to take away. First. All the content that you've seen this morning is available to you for free desktop users. Two, we have access to millions of dollars of imagery, base maps, topo maps, street maps, and it is available now. And three, 
stay tuned because we are constantly adding more content and it's a lot more is coming soon. Thank you.